60. Day 60. Oh man, two thirds of the way there. Got one month left. Um, today's message. Yeah, did you hear the jazz? Listen to jazz today while exercising. Jazz or size. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> um, so, today's message is. I don't know how to. I don't know if I have the words. Um, so, I was thinking about um, history and mankind. So, I've been watching a lot of little clips and films on YouTube about different um, amazing places on earth, different ancient ruins and um, people's thoughts about them and why they built them and then um, the power of different religions and groups, you know, they rise up and take over, build something amazing, then somebody else rises up and tears it down and destroys it. And then there's different kinds of plagues and things that come up. But, like, to me, I, I just flat refuse, like there's this sign right here. Um, it was a church sign and drove by and they have like some words on it. And it says something about the darkness is coming and something. And I'm like, what? Like, that's not how I want my mentality. I don't want to have somebody tell me, you need to believe or else everything's going to shit. You know, it's not, um, I don't, I just don't believe that. Because things go to crap and then things come back and they're good and then they go to crap and then they're good. So it's like... For me, very much about um, treating others how you want to be treated in your everyday life. And you can only do, like if there's an evil leader and they're tearing down the whole world, you can only do what one guy can do. So you stand up for what you believe in and you do, you do your thing. But... I refuse to go around each day waking up saying I'm happy to be alive because the world's going to crap. I'm happy to be alive today because everything's gonna go to crap. I just flat refuse to believe that. I think that things are going to be amazing and I think the reason I get up and I'm happy to be alive today is because tomorrow can be better and the, the there are leaders and people that will rise up and things will be I have faith that things will carry on and there will be a there will always be a good group of people even if the whole if something comes over the whole world where it's darkness and chaos there's still going to be somebody a group of people somewhere working out of sheer like just pure um, passion and belief that the the world is a great place and things are going to be great and I want to be one of those people. I think this is um, I think the earth and the world and everything is amazing and I love to be here. It's awesome and I want to do something great. So I don't know what today's positive message is but maybe like lead your life from a place of um happiness and brightness and kindness and um, believe that things are going to be good. It's so easy to get on social media and, and see all the, all the negativity and say, oh, here's someone to blame. Let's go. This person sucks. Let's blame them for everything. Like, the, I mean, the president is a person. The Pope is a person, just like you, just like me. The leader of every single country, the leader of every single non-profit organization, the leader of different airlines, the leader of everything. They're just people doing their doing their thing and 
I hope that today's positive message can help you let go. Don't worry about all them other people. You in your head, your life, what are you doing? How are you leading? How are you getting up each day? Are you, uh, like, what's the point of trying if you just believe the whole world's going to crap? That doesn't give you, that doesn't, down in your subconscious, that doesn't give you something to work for. That doesn't give you something to, to get up and jump up in the morning about. Like, that's terrible. So I hope, I hope that if you have that, I hope that you can recognize it. And I hope you can find something that you believe in and you think will be better tomorrow. And you want to jump up and you want to make it great. That kind of thing. Don't find someone to blame. It's easy to blame someone. That's what somebody was talking about. Is A cheap way of leadership is to find somebody to blame and let the people blame them and then watch everything fall apart. Don't play the blame game. All right. I hope your day is awesome and I hope tomorrow is even better. Have a good one, you guys.